Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. In this video, we will cover the program modes and control adjustments for the optics handheld laser system. All users must review the owner's manual in its entirety and be fully trained before using optic system. Warning, class four invisible laser radiation can permanently damage eyes and skin. Everyone present during laser operation must wear both Miller Optics laser welding helmet and laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers. Let's review the different parts of the front panel. On the left side, you will see a series of status indicators. Below, you will also notice the power controls. On the right side are the controls for setting the laser parameters. Next, we will go over the power key switch. When the handheld laser welding system is turned on using the supplied key, all status indicators will illuminate for five seconds. The class one guide beam is now on and ready. The mode display shows the last used program mode. The parameter displays show the laser power in watts, the wobble frequency in hertz, and the wobble length settings in millimeters for that program mode. The emergency stop button, or e-stop, turns the power on the base unit and laser off. The e-stop is reset by twisting the button to the released out position. When the emergency stop button is reset, the system will go through a startup sequence. The unit is now ready to resume operation. Let's review the status indicator lights in more detail. First is the emission status light. This illuminates when the laser is on. Next is the interlock status light. This illuminates when all safety interlocks, such as the door, are satisfied. Next is the gas status light. This will illuminate when gas is flowing. The error code is displayed to the right on the laser power display. A list of error codes and explanations are listed in the owner's manual. If the laser does not fire, check the status indicator lights. As soon as the problem is corrected, for example, gas turned off, the indicator light will return to normal. No additional reset action is necessary. Next, we will discuss the laser parameter controls. You can adjust the parameters by rotating the dials on the front panel. The display shows the selected level. The power level can be adjusted from 150 watts to 2000 watts. The wobble length and wobble frequency can be adjusted as a percentage of the Miller preset value indicated as zero for a more customized weld setting. Next, we will cover the process mode controls. Optic system comes pre-installed with a selection of modes that have a set of parameters that have been optimized for material and thickness combinations. As shown in the chart on the screen, modes are a combination of letters and numbers. To select a different mode, press the left or right mode selection buttons to increase or decrease the mode number. When you stop, that mode is selected. To select a different mode, press and hold either button for two seconds to move to the next mode letter. Release at the desired mode letter, and then press the left or right mode selection button to increase or decrease the mode number. In this example, we are selecting process mode F2. For even more control, you can customize the pre-installed modes. To make changes to a particular mode, you can adjust the parameters using the dials. Your adjustments are displayed as positive or negative numbers, which are percentage changes from the preset mode values. In this example, the laser mode is continuous wave. The laser will operate at these levels until controls are changed or reset. Watch the computer control video to learn how these dials adjust other parameters for even greater welding capability. Once you have selected your new parameters, these can be saved for future use. Press and hold both process and mode buttons simultaneously for three seconds. Once the display stops blinking, it confirms the program is saved. To recall a previously saved mode, in this example, F2, simply press the left or right mode selection buttons to return to your saved settings. 
To reset the selected program mode back to the default factory setting, press and hold both mode selection buttons for 10 seconds. Once the display begins blinking, it confirms the program has been reset. Next, we will show you how to restore the optic system back to its default factory settings. Please note, this will delete all previously saved customized user program parameters. This action should only be taken if you wish to erase all custom program modes and restore default settings for all modes. To restore all factory settings, press and hold both mode selection buttons for 15 seconds. The display will begin to flash slowly, and then it will flash rapidly, indicating all modes have been reset to their factory defaults. As you can see, Mode F2 has been reset to factory settings. This concludes our overview of the front panel controls of the Optic system. Please watch our other videos for additional operating instructions and laser welding tips.